What's going on, Kicks fam? It's your boy, Big Maul, back with another review. Today, release day, is Saturday. Today, release the Jordan 11 Low Bread Concord Con. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna call these. So, they released today, and if you watched my last video, I talked about how me picking them up was gonna be a little bit of a, a situation, a, a little maze, because the place where I get my shoes from. They were doing like some remodeling or they were something was going on to where when I passed the the store was like closed in the middle of the day, which is, you know, weird. So I called somebody that I knew at another spot and I asked them about it and they said that yeah they, they got some stuff going on, but it shouldn't affect nothing. So then I double checked, I hit up finish line just to see if they were gonna be releasing as well, just trying to, you know, get my resources together. Hit up finish line actually on Twitter. And they said that they were still releasing and everything. Even, it's so crazy, Finish Line ended up following me back on Twitter. I'm, I'm a nobody on Twitter, but they follow me back. So I think it's nice that a shoe or a sneaker outlet follows a person that's interested in shoes, you know. I think that's really dope. Shout out to Finish Line. We're going to do this review of these low 11s, uh, retro Jordans. Before we get into it, again, subscribing down below make sure that you click the bell notifications make sure you like make sure you share we're gonna keep this channel going only more to come right so with that being said i know what y'all here for let's get into the review let me get these things so here is the box standard jordan box nothing really you know nothing really great to see on here you have your jordan Jumpman air nike check all of that good stuff so if you Look here, they have a standard Jordan. Can you guys see that? Yeah. On the box, you have your your size, which is this is a size 10 and a half. You have your UPC code and your USDA, USDA, USD uh, amount. And only, as far as I know, only uh, US boxes will have this. If you get, a, if you get uh, your shoes from overseas, they will not come with that on there, so don't think that like somebody finessed you or whatever. But you could do your own checks and everything. So the box reads Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. Colors are white, university red, university red, and black. That's interesting because on sites they're calling these the gym red, not university red, which is very. It's interesting to me. I like details, you know. Um, details like that kind of like stand out. But let's go ahead and get into this review. So I'm gonna ask someone, what is this paper that they keep putting in these boxes? I don't know what it is. If you know below, go ahead and tell me. I don't know what it is. Please tell me what is this fuzzy trash bag paper or whatever. But as you can see, there they are right there, right? And so we're going to pull out. We only need one, right? We only need one to do a review. So I'll place that to the side. So as you can see, here you go. Actually, I like the other shoe. Let's get the other one. Okay. You know, I'm a lefty, so I like to, I like to look at the left shoes. I don't know. So let's go ahead and look at the shoe. You guys a good look right there. Yeah. It has... Pretty much, you know, this is, it's pretty standard. Nothing really major going on about the shoe. There are a couple things that's in the shoe that, you know, we're going to talk about. So first, I like to start off, of course, with the bottom. Now, the first thing I see is on this bottom is that it's, you know, translucent red. And the first idea that comes to my mind about this is that this is what they should have did with the hair sixes. This red, right? I didn't mind the hair sixes, but that this red would have set it off, hands down. Um, but it has a translucent bottom, the same traction pattern. There's a black Jumpman in the middle by that uh, carbon fiber mid outsole. It has a black heel and black toe. You move up to the midsole, which is white, you know, so that's standard, right? So a Jordan bread or, or Concord, you'll see that right in that midsole next you come up obviously to that patent leather the patented patent leather you know the legendary patent leather 
which will make these shoes great. So you have that, and again, that comes with all of like Jordan 11s, right? You, you expect that patented patent leather, unless they are like a suede or whatever, but you'll get the patent leather most likely. And so on the back we have here, the little jump man, call him little Mike, you know, like little Penny, we call him little Mike. And you have a red, if you can see that, 23 on the back, which I, I think is dope. Um, and then you move to the upper. Now the upper is not mesh, it is leather. Now I know a lot of people have like issues with leather versus mesh. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it could work for this shoe, you know, but moving on. So the tongue itself is again leather. It has that Jumpman Jordan on the tongue with the red Jumpman on it. And then you have your fat boy laces. I like to call them fat boy laces. Yeah, your fat boy laces in there, not the flat ones. And in the inside here, it just, you know, has a jump man. It tells you quality basketball product inspired by the greatest player ever. Facts. Right? So, um, my impressions of this shoe. Oh, wait. So on the inside, you have your red jump man inside. I don't know if you guys can if you guys can see that. But you have your red jump man inside there. Now my impressions of this shoe my first impressions were that that i think the hair six is right this is, should have been on it but my impressions of this shoe since this, this is the shoe we're reviewing my impressions of this shoe is that they again jordan brand might have missed the mark with this and the reason i say that is because personally i'm not a fan of uh 11 lows it's just not my bag i i, I don't think that they should be low top, just like Jordan 1's. I don't think they should be low top. I truly believe that they should stay in a high top form. I do have, you know, I can understand the craftsmanship of what it took to make this shoe. I see a lot of like great stitching on the shoe, but I do believe in the idea of the tradition that it should stay the same. You know, the eyelets are the exact same. Everything is pretty much the same except for the leather and not and it not being mesh if this shoe would have been a high top i'm sure it would have flew off shelves i'm more than positive this shoe would have flew off shelves if it was a high top but it is not it is a low and i don't know you know i don't wear i don't wear lows a lot of people that i know don't wear lows but there are a lot of people that do wear lows obviously because a lot of people cop them i think that if they would have made this a high a high top a standard right a standard size shoe i would have called these the reverse breads honestly that's what i would have called them the reverse breads right so you're hearing it first if they ever come out with a high top they should be called a reverse breads but anyway i believe that it's a decent shoe on a scale of one out of ten i i give it a five and honestly i'm giving it a five because it would be lower but it's based on my favorite Jordan, the Concord 11. And that's the only reason why I'm, you know, giving it that five. But if this would have been the standard, I would have gave it like a good eight. I can see the potential, but the execution, again, is, is just not there for, for me personally. And like I said, sneakers are subjective. So what someone likes, you may not like and vice versa. What you like, someone else may not like. And that's what make, you know, the sneaker community great. Because somebody will see a shoe that, you know, they didn't think looked good. But they see it on some on foot and they're like, oh my God, that's crazy, right? So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and, again, raffle the shoe off for retail right now. I think it is going for like $250, $260 on resale. But I'm going to let this go for retail. So what I pay for for retail... That's what I'm giving it giving it up for. Uh, and I'll be doing that on my Instagram channel. So, on my Instagram channel. I'll be doing that on my Instagram. And the link will be below. So, go ahead and follow the directions on there. For your chance to go ahead and cop these bad boys. If you didn't cop already. But, yeah. That's that's that. And, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a Jordan. But just, you know, in my opinion. Just because it's a Jordan... That doesn't mean it's a must, you know, a lot of people 
they they flock and run to a, a certain style or whatever. And this is my favorite style of Jordan. But I have to be honest. I can't be subjective. I have to give my honest opinion, my honest review, a thorough review of this. The leather on here is amazing. It really is. And I wish I had more of it. Right? I wish I, I wish I had more of it. But I I think it's okay. It's not for me. Maybe it's for you. And yeah, they're cool, but they're they're not they're not they're just not my my style. So with that being said, because they're not my style, again, I'm gonna let them go for retail. So that is that, you know. So I place that there. So, make sure you guys are staying in the loop, staying up on the channel because we're doing these reviews and July is going to be crazy, right? You have the 14s, you have the, the alternate great fives, you have the retro one smoke gray, you have, I believe you have the Gary Payton uh, 12 PEs coming out also in July. Obviously, dates are subject to change, right? Because we've, it's been a crazy crazy time uh, but again we want to try to do the reviews on a day of get that atmosphere get that feel so you guys can see what you know what's going on maybe you feel the same way maybe you don't but let us know and let me know down in the comments let you know let it let your voice be heard I answer pretty much anything and everything down below so make sure that you are tuned in that's it for that review uh the jordan 11 retro low university red gym red i'm gonna call them university red because that's what the box says but i know on sites they're calling them gym red but it says university red on a box so small details like that again stand out to me the execution it has to be there so you guys stay tuned we'll be back with another review Trust me, we're going to keep this going. It's a lifestyle. Y'all pay attention out there. Y'all stay safe, man. We out of here. Yeah, we fresh with